Hello everybody, welcome to another part in the Remake Indoor series. Today is going to be kind of a quick episode. I just wanted to get on here and show you guys how to add custom um, walking sounds to your game. So like custom material sounds. So like if you're walking on carpet, it'll sound like carpet. If you're walking on wood, it'll sound like wood, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to be needing is in the description, there will be a model linked to a footstep module system that was created by uh, Ugly Burger Zero, who's a developer and another YouTuber named Trusco. Um, they made this, well, Ugly Burger made the module that holds all the sounds. Trusco um, made the scripts that, uh, you know, actually makes it work. But what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to modify the script, how to change up some stuff, and basically how to just set it all up. So once you have the model, we're going to insert it into the workspace by just clicking on it in our toolbox, and it should show up in workspace like this, footstep sounds. And if you go and open it, you should see ungroup and replicated storage, which we can go ahead and do that. Ungroup and service script service, which we can go ahead and put in there and then ungroup it. And then ungroup and starter character scripts. We can put it in there and ungroup it and delete the folder. So now if we hit play, you can see that our uh, footstep sounds are different. But they're kind of off, right? So if you see, they're kind of too slow for the character, right? And they're kind of loud. We don't really want them that loud. So we're going to make some edits to the um, actual uh, script. First things first, um, when we hold up here, let me see. Let me just see something really quick. So if you want to make um, the cooldown less, so meaning like if you want to make the sounds come out faster in like the character. So right now they're kind of slow. They're not really matching up with the footsteps we can go ahead and go into our footstep sounds and starter character scripts and we can go down all the way to here and we can say if humanoid that walk speed is less than or equal to 16 then this will be the cooldown else this will be the cooldown so what this could be used for is let's say you had like a shift to sprint and you change the character's walk speed to like i don't know like 23 you can change what the sounds would look like in what this what the sounds would sound like in here but it, the default ones, we're going to change this cooldown. So let's go ahead and just experiment. We'll say 0.3. Let's see if that sped it up enough to our liking. So we're going to go to test here. Let me just make sure something. What is our walk speed right now? It is 16. And I still don't really like that that much. So we're going to go ahead and make it point. Let's see, 0.22. And we're going to go inside sound insert. And we're going to go ahead and decrease that volume because it is kind of loud right now. So we will go ahead and see this now. So as you can see, the volume went down. 100% it went down. Um, and also another thing change this cooldown so whatever you set this cooldown to um put it up to here so the default cooldown will be put in here i think that's why it wasn't really changing anything so let's see what it sounds like now as you can see it's very much faster so let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit to like 0.3 let's see i think that's pretty good and the sound and the volume is pretty good as well. And as you can see, when we go on carpet, it sounds like carpet. And when we go on like like the spawn location, which is plastic, it sounds like a different one. And we can also, if we like inside the start room, I'll just insert some uh, example stuff. We can insert like a, um, let's see, like a metal one. And we can go like this. And then we can insert a wood one just to test out. Obviously, this is not going to be in your game, but I just want to test out. I just want to show you guys that the, you know, that it has a bunch of wide range of different sounds that you can uh, incorporate. So plastic, carpet, metal, and wood. And there's a bunch of other ones like sand, like walking on sand. Um, you, got, you guys can test all of these out, see which ones you like the best. So when making your maps, if you have different materials throughout your rooms, this could be a huge like detail booster in your game. Like it could really, 
you know create like an atmosphere because players you have the same exact walking sound over and over again you know there's not really any like difference between rooms if you have like a carpet like floor room and then you go into like a wood room you could tell the difference between the two because you're going to be walking on carpet and then you're going to be able to tell the difference when you hear the sound of you walking on wood compared to the carpet so this could be used definitely as like a huge like like i said atmosphere booster in your game um use this as you will like i said to change the cooldown um make sure you set the default cooldown up here local cooldown equals whatever you want so 0 0.3 is what i set it to change it to down here so we'll set it to 0 0.3 and then and actually you know what we could do we can say local default cooldown equals 0 0.3 and we can we'll say local default cooldown and then we can say local cooldown equals default cooldown local cooldown and then we can set the cooldown if it's so what this is determining is when the walk speed gets changed so when let's say you had like a shift to sprint it would detect when that walk speed gets got changed to like something like 25 and then it would change based on this and then when you unshifted it would set it back to the default so we'll just say default equals default cooldown and then you know if you add like a shift to sprint which we don't but you could just say default cooldown times like two or something and that should double the uh or actually no that wouldn't make sense no, no no do divided by so divided by two so it would change from 0.3 to like point to um point 0.15 so you can mess around with this like however you want you could do divided by 1.5 whatever you know mess around with it however you like but that's just basically how you change the cooldown um in between each sound the volume is in sound insert and service script service right here you change it and yeah that is really it for today's tutorial again like i said it wasn't this whole module was not made by me it was made by uh the actual module that held all of the footstep sounds was made by ugly burger zero and the code to get it all working was made by a youtuber called trusco both their channels will be linked in the description as well as all of the folders and modules that you need to set this up so i hope this tutorial was helpful um if you have any questions or concerns please leave in the comments below i'll try to answer as many as i can um the support on the channel has been amazing recently we're at like last time i checked 142 subscribers let's get that even more up let's get to 150 subscribers by the weekend um again like if like i said if you enjoyed the tutorial please leave a like subscribe it really helps out the channel um and yeah as always i will see you guys in the next one